move around so using a recliner because the recliner is doing the lifting and what have you it's relieving the strain on her stomach muscles but she's doing a lot better this year than she was last year last year I mean they had her on her back for two weeks and it's surprising how much strength you lose in your um, legs just being bedridden for two weeks okay where did I miss a spot um, and yes good morning long hauler I think in general, so long as I get most of this done. Um, this field here. Oh, I think I have to go back to there. There you go. Yeah, that's good, that's good. That needs fertilizer. That needs fertilizer and tillage, obviously you can't can't fix tillage uh, when there's a crop in the field. Uh, weeds. I've missed that edge. Why didn't that spray? That should have sprayed. Uh, maybe that's not well, I don't know. But yes, there is a tiny thin. I'm seeing your messages double. That's that might be on you. I don't know. I'm only seeing messages once, so I don't know what the deal is. I could go and check the uh, streamlabs as well. We spin around. Oh, that's no, no, no. That's not what I wanted to do. Please go away. Um, there. There we go. That was weird. Um, I was going to jump to there, and no nope, messages are coming in normal on my end. Okay. Yes. Yes, that's a thing. Actually, um, what is it? Um, YouTube channel This Farm Wife. Um, the farmer, um, Mr. Bernard, has um, just had his second knee surgery done. And he's really pushing himself. Um, he had to have both knees rebuilt, or you know, he had a lot of calcium on his knees, so he had to get them both done. And uh, he's doing surprisingly well, for all to all accounts. Uh, okay, that's folding up. I'm going to go back to this map. Um, just to make sure weeds are the middle one so we're good with weeds on all our fields now so done with the herbicide oh, well. <coughs> we'll take this lot. and we didn't really use them much I mean that, that that is the one advantage with the spot and spray I mean we've used a couple of hundred litres of herbicide. What we have here, even with all the fields we have, will probably last us all of next year as well. So not a big deal. But we do we do now have two fields to fertilize. Obviously the soybeans don't need fertilizing. They don't they don't have any interaction with nitrogen 
Oh yeah, that's the other thing I noticed. Um, we now have access to Season 2 Pass for Farm Sim 22. Now, I'm not sure I'm going to bother. One, because as far as I'm aware, the next version of Farm Sim will be 24, which means the... That means that um, the DLC we get in September of next year will be obsolete in November, assuming normal release schedule. Now, typically, um, again, the last um, DLC of the year is usually a $5 cheap one with a couple of bits of equipment and not much else. So that can be, um, yeah, it's not that bad. But still, okay, cool. Only one set of messages. It, oh, yeah, and the other thing is, is the sea and spray, while it only supposed to affect herbicide, it also um, changes the way the sprayer works on fertilizer. So if the fertilizer wand leaves the field, it'll actually stop the spray um, effect on that side as well. Okay plan here. We are going to go to field 49. Um, I may not need to go far onto the field. I just need to make sure the crop sensors are on. We'll drive out into the field with the sprayer on and it should top out almost immediately. As far as I can see, the field itself looks like it's fully fertilized. We will find out. Again, narrow tyres on everything, so we're not going to destroy much in the way of stuff. Okay, so I need to... Um, deactivate hood? No. Turn on crop sensors. So, yeah, as you can see, the target... We're on what we need to be. But... Um, Nitrogen levels is the top row, is zero. So, and I think that might be because I didn't do it. So if I turn the sprayer on, uh, it's spraying. Guess we might need to go around the field. You can see there are it's doing the whole spot and spray thing, even with fertilizer in. Okay, I'm going to stop there. It's not adjusting. Damn. This is not going to be the easiest of things to monitor. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to set up GPS. Or this field's a complete write-off when it comes to uh, environmental score until we plant next year. Yeah, I missed the edge. So sue me. Okay. That, that. Set a zero. Back. GPS on. We can turn that off. This is wheat. Um, which is, as far as I'm aware, a high nitrogen requirement crop. Um, and we bought it in situ. We, di we didn't plant this. We bought this field with wheat in it. And the plan is to whole crop silage it for cow feed. So I don't have an intent here to uh, really worry too much about the state of it except that it's harming our environmental score so
so but yeah it's the difference between 15 and 13 percent um, no soybeans were in the field we just uh, herbicided um, across the road the green patch to the left in the distance So we're, we're not worried about nitrogen there, and I think that field is now scoring a 99, so not a problem. But, uh, this field is scoring bad, but it's it, as I said, it could be because I didn't plant it, I didn't prepare it, I didn't tillage it. The only thing I've been able to do is to... Um, pay for a geologist to come in to scan the dirt and weed control. And I believe this field was full of weeds, so uh, that was something I did have to do last week, maybe. But it's certainly spraying in some places so I'm guessing it's while it's reading and this is the uh, this is part of the precision farming thing um, the the field can read good because you're using the automatic application rate of the sprayer or the spreader or whatever you're using and so it's getting the ideal levels but it's not the precise levels and that's where the crop sensors come in they make your application precise which then means that um, that come on yes it did uh, that then puts you in a good state when it comes to your environmental score so for, for our fields, what I'm generally doing, I'm going out with the uh, slurry tanker, um, spraying the field to get the nitrogen high enough for the crop that I'm planting. And then later on, when the crop's more in this state where it's grown, you can use the crop sensors, you come out with the sprayer and you use a tiny amount of spray just to top it off and uh, make it perfect as precision farming tells us and this is the main reason why I, uh, I usually put GPS on my um, field care tractor because when the crops grown this much you can't see where you've been now admittedly the mini map can be used when there is a large discrepancy between what is needed and what you're currently at but uh, when you're this close obviously previous farmer ran through with ideal or automatic application and now we're running through and saying automatic application just isn't quite sufficient enough but we're really not using much of the uh, fertilizer so that's a good thing that means more for next year. The battery. Oh, somebody else who wants to be reported. That's nice. Indeed. D 
deal with that in a moment. small hint to the Twitch programmers, it would be really nice if your pop-up windows were um, were um, draggable so I could see what's underneath them. Anyway, Anyway, so Spambot uh, reported. We can get back to paying attention to the farming. Anyway, so this is we now need we ne next need to go to the. Uh, the grass field. Now the grass field is going to be a little bit easier because it does have a drain, quite a drain in its nitrogen levels. Um, it's also getting a little bit low on nit um, pH as well, which is a little bit of a problem. But I tend to wait until November before I start throwing um, the white stuff around. <laughs> there is that, yes. Um, what have I seen them do? Um, there are some interesting people out there that... Uh, oh, look, you want to hack my PC. Um, excuse me while I turn yours into a brick. Me, that's not... I, could, I probably could have trained to do that in my youth, but... Uh, Instead, I'm more a uh, serious corporate programmer, so... Um, I tend to find what you learn, you retain if it, you... Kind of like foreign languages. Um, if you use it, you retain it. If you don't use it, then, um, well... You, you once knew a foreign language, but it's not so much a thing that you can remember much of these days type of thing. Oh, come on. This is why I, I'm not a fan of these. So once you get caught up on a fence or a tree or whatever, it's... It can just get you in a whole mess of, uh, yeah, you're not going anywhere. Have fun. Okay, I think we're done with this field. Now we'll fold that up and hopefully um, it 
has done absolutely nothing. Oh, well. We used a little bit of, I mean, we've still got over 3,200 litres of herbicide uh, fertiliser, so it's not like we, uh, we drained a tank off, but uh, sadly, no bonus to our uh, environmental score here. We will just have to live with it as it is. Now, again, with this, oh, actually, oh, environmental score for fertilization only updates when you uh, harvest. Ugh. That's annoying. Okay. I messed up a bit then. Okay, we're going to reposition this. Set a zero cardinal back. There you go. Unfold that. And as I said, this one should turn orange. So uh, it will be much easier to see on the mini map where we've been and where we haven't been. Turn that on, turn the spray on. It's not going to spray till we hit the field. And there you go. We're turning a. Uh, a nice shade of umber. And then next time we cut the grass in this field, obviously the environmental score for fertilization or nitrogen will uh, pop up back up to maximum. You can see at the end here, it's not, the, the nozzles are turned off. Now if they didn't have spot and spray on this, then uh, it would spray the full width. There also seems to be an issue with the nozzles in the middle. Maybe I should clean them. Yes, I, that, that's, that's what I forgot. Um, so, yes, anything... To, But it's only the pH and the nitrogen that you have you, you have that delay on. Um, everything else is good, which is fine because in in the normal course of events, all the fields that we have um, will be um, yeah will be at the best nitrogen levels, the best pH levels when we harvest and that will carry out for the entirety of the next year um, so all you have to do is remember to do those things again so while crops are growing you sh if, if you if you did all of the stuff to the field you didn't buy it while the crop was growing <coughs> you should be absolutely fine um, all the way through to harvest. But um, obviously if you didn't, if you buy the field with crop in, then well, you just have to live with it, I'm afraid. And the same with the tillage and the all the rest of it. And I, I can understand why that's a thing, because if you had, um, if the nitrogen and pH happened immediately, well, that's not working out too well. Um, if the nitrogen and pH happened immediately, um, then as soon as you um, harvest, it would, jeez, oh come on. Um, as soon as you harvest, then 
it would um, reset down and you wouldn't get the benefit of having perfect pH and nitrogen when it comes to sell the crop that you have just harvest, finished harvesting. So the fact that those do not update until you harvest is a good thing most of the time. It's just when you're buying new fields with crop in them. There's absolutely nothing you can do to rectify your bad score for the entire rest of the year until those fields get harvested. Now I think that wheat field should be um, good come uh, July. I think July is the first month we can harvest wheat because that was harvested or that was planted by someone else in the fall. Um, our oats should be ready about the same time. Um, our canola and barley and soybeans should be quite late fall when it comes to uh, dealing with those crops. How good can I get this? I think that was almost perfect. I think I missed a bit. But it's not showing up on the map so good. <laughs> um, are you sure you're pressing the right button? It's R to load. <laughs> Or did everyone who's loading it go off to lunch? It's not lunchtime yet. Well, it's lunchtime in game. It's not lunchtime in the real world. Well, it looks like the snow stopped. Honestly, not sure how much we're expecting today. Mm. Where that is, but it's good enough. And actually, that's probably where my office is because uh, this PC is VPN into the office. So, internet location is where the office is, obviously. Um, I am seeing rain for the rest of the day by the looks of it, 20% um, chance, partly cloudy on Monday, snow on Friday, no snow on Sunday. Oh, snow for the new year, awesome. So, you're coming, uh... <laughs> yes indeed auto load trailers. We need them in real life. <laughs> I know what you're talking about real life, but you know. So once we've done the nitrogen, I think we are done doing farm stuff for today. The food in the cows is good. Well, we're definitely using fertilizer on this field. Uh, we've already used, what, about 400 liters? Cool. Well, there you go. Overhead conveyor systems. Speaking of conveyor systems. 